was a beautiful morning. I, I missed two of her FaceTime calls and I called her back and I, I said, Daya, where are you? She's like, oh, me and Josie were gonna go to the lake and I was gonna have them fish. Naya Rivera's mother and sister reflect on her life and legacy one year after her death. I go, well, the water's getting choppy. And I said, I love you. And uh, call me, uh, call me when you get off the water. The Glee star's mom, Yolanda, and sister, Nikayla, opened up about the late actress during an interview with Good Morning America on Thursday, exactly one year after the 33-year-old was first reported missing, following a boat ride with her son, Josie, on Lake Piru in Ventura County, California. Those first five days were hell, awful. Hell on earth. Hell on yeah. earth. My faith told me that uh, nothing is missing, surely not a person. Yes, we, we just can't find them. So that was my, my thing. God, you know where she's at. Just bring her back to us. Yolanda recalled her final conversation with Naya while she was out on the rental boat with a then four-year-old Josie and said the screenshot she took during their FaceTime call helped lead the search and rescue team to her grandson. He said, don't worry, we have Josie, but your, your daughter's missing. And it was almost like a force. I don't know what it was, but I literally, I was just pushed backwards, just screaming. Naya was found and pronounced dead five days later on July 13th. There are a lot of currents on the lake. The idea um, perhaps being that the boat started drifting, it was unanchored, and that she mustered enough energy to get her son back onto the boat, but not enough to save herself. And when E.T. sat down with Naya's father, George, in June, he opened up about his daughter's final heroic act. Well, sort of the same mantra she used for life, you know, preservation, keep going. When things are hard, you keep pushing, right? It just shows you the strength of the person. Following her sister's death, Nikayla moved in with Josie and his father, Ryan Dorsey. I knew right when it happened and right when we got him, I knew the role that I had to take. It, it's so reminiscent because he's like a boy version of her in every sense of the word. In what way? His tenacity, his drive, his zeal, his adventure for life. He's just, he's, he's Naya and in he boy loves, form. He yeah. loves entertaining. Yes. Oh. He loves singing <laughs> at the top of his lungs. <laughs> Being a mom was always priority number one for Naya, something she talked to E.T. about in 2016. What's next for you? You know, I'm a mom now, and I, you know, what I love more than acting is being Josie's mom. So I want to be here for him, and I don't want to miss anything. And Naya's dad told E.T. how his daughter changed for the better after becoming a mother. He really became everything for her, right? Her focus, her focus was really on, on him. And um, as he was growing up, as she was becoming a mother, she, uh, she really leaned into that. The word I want to use is maturity. Became very mature as a person and, and really receptive to other people's feelings. Naya's ex, Taj Maori, who dated the actress on and off during the early 2000s, echoed all that during a chat with E.T. in May. I think overall the the amazing mother that she became um, and and the working mother that she became I think she's the the uh, fitting image of what women are capable of doing just as capable as as men are you know what I mean and she was so strong she was uh, hilarious oh my god um, and so talented so talented her, her voice always was uh, the best I had ever heard. Naya's mom and sister also spoke to her legacy, including her impact playing the groundbreaking role of Santana Lopez, a queer Latina on Glee. People would come up to her all the time and say, you saved my life. My sister was touching people's real lives and helping them become who they really are and not being ashamed of that. I would like my daughter's, Naya's legacy to be one that 
teaches people to love. Love who you are, because you don't get another life.